think we're live. Yeah, it's live. All right, we'll shut this noisy tractor off. Welcome back to the farm, everybody. My first ever live stream on the farm channel. I've done numerous live streams on my uh, Jason Wish channel. I don't know if anybody's even going to click on this and watch this live or maybe not till after the fact. But either way, I, I thought I would come on here real quick and just talk about planting sweet corn today. It's a beautiful bluebird day. There's not a cloud in the sky and it is like 75 degrees. We had torrential rains for days and days last week. And I thought I was going to have to wait, wait about 10 days to get back out here and be able to plant. But fortunately, it is pretty dry. So I'll give you a quick look at my corn planter here. This is a 1979 John Deere 7000 four row liquid fertilizer. Mine's set up a little bit different from most John Deere 7000s. This is 28% nitrogen that is pumped on with this roller pump two by two, two inches below the seed and beside the seed. I have a pop-up starter. Uh, I think the analysis is like 8, 24, 15 or something like that. And it is pumped on to the seed furrow right over the top of the seed. It's a really low salt. It's safe to put right on the seed furrow. With this, it's pumped on with this little electrical pump. A lot of people are going to be asking me what varieties am I planting? So the early sweet corn varieties we plant are Bolt and Kickoff. They are SHQs, that's what I call them. They're SH2, augmented SH2s. So they're not the really uh, crispy, hard crispy SH2s, super sweets like the uh, seed of the past. Uh, these new augmented super sweets, which have been out for probably, I've been planting them for over 10 years. They are far superior to the standard and sugary enhanced, and in my opinion, better than the triple sweets. Uh, the triple sweets are still 75% sugary enhanced and only 25% super sweet. These are 100% super sweet. Kickoff from Rupp Seeds here in Washington, Ohio. And I got my bolt from Gowan Seed. Gowan Seed is a nationwide company. Um, the only, re only reason I went to Gowan a couple years ago is because my seed salesman went from Rupp's to Seegers, which is now Stokes, and then he went to Gowan. Now he's retired, so um, I'm kind of just buy it from mostly from Rupps and Gowan. So here's a look at the bolt sweet corn seed. I am dropping it about an inch and a half deep. Uh, I'm happy with an inch depth this time of year. I want that stuff to pop up quick. The soils are normally pretty cool this time of year, but the the varieties I plant, Bolt and Kickoff, man, they are very hardy, very uh, cold soil resistant and vigorous. They'll pop right up no matter how, what the temperature is. Even if it's in the 40s for a week after I plant, it'll still pop right up. Uh, the ground temperature is fairly warm today, so I'm not worried about that. But like I said, I'm dropping it about an inch and a half. It's probably going in more like an inch, inch and a quarter. Um, I do have some uh, Aztec insecticide and the insecticide boxes, which is like Lord's Band 15G. They don't make that anymore, I don't think. So Aztec, it's for wire worms, grubs, cut worms, all that good stuff. I only use it for my first three or two or three, sometimes four plantings until I run out. I just get one bag. When it's out, I don't put it in any of the other later plantings. We'll probably plant about 12 to 15 times from today, which is the first planting in 2024, April 15th. We will finish our final planting on July 15th. July 17th, the 20th is the latest I've ever planted. Sometimes that, that planting will run into a frost. So, and by then I'm tired of picking sweet corn. I think people are tired of eating sweet corn. So uh, I'm happy to get a planting in around July 15th for my final planting. Doing all this with the John Deere, 1964 John Deere 3020 diesel, converted to the 12 volt. I love this tractor. It's my all purpose tractor. I use it for everything. And, you know, my dad always haggles me about, why don't you buy a new planter, update your junkie equipment? You know, I like my old junkie equipment. It does just fine for me. I like not being in debt. I like making a profit. I like enjoying my life and having a good living. So I can, as long as the stuff is easily fixed and repaired and maintenance regularly every year, it does just fine. I don't need a new $45,000 four-row planter. It'd be nice, but this one's working just fine for me. Well, um... 
only looks like a couple people are on here. I didn't have high expectations for my very first live stream on the farm channel. It's a very small channel. It's only got 2,100 subscribers. Um, I'm really focusing on growing that channel this year. Uh, I would love to see it take off 30, 40, 50, 100,000 subscribers. I think it's possible. I love doing the YouTube thing. I love vlogging our farm and hopefully more people uh, will start following us here this summer. What else is going on? That's about it. Um, we're putting out four to five acres today. I'm kind of piecing it in. So I am making a video about what I'm doing today. So stay tuned for that. It'll probably be out next Saturday, I believe. Great old fashioned equipment. Yeah, buddy. Greetings from Argentina. Wow. Well, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate that. So this field has some sticky spots over there. So I'm just planting this back half. It's about an acre and a half here. And then I got maybe a half acre along the creek where my irrigation pipes are over there by the greenhouse. And then behind the greenhouses, I got a couple more acres. So I could probably find some drier ground a little further away, but I like to have this early planting really close to the farm. So if I do need to put electric fence around it to keep the raccoons out, um, I can easily uh, plug it in to the power su supply in my greenhouse. Uh, well, that's about it, folks. I want to keep this short and sweet. I'll start doing a few more of these when something interesting happens. Happens, And I think planting sweet corn, the day I've been waiting for the entire year of 2024 is finally happening. It feels good to have some nice, dry, sunny, warm weather and getting some corn in the ground. And I will be back with another live stream maybe next week in the greenhouses. And I have a video coming out on some repairs I did on the planter, getting it serviced and getting it ready. Um, that'll be out Tuesday night, I believe, and Saturday morning I should have maybe this corn planting video out, maybe one more greenhouse video before that one. But yeah, there will be a corn house, a corn, corn house, a corn planting video. Hey, Jason, great day to plant some corn. That's right. Play with some corn. Is that what I said? Yeah, I'm out here playing. That's what it feels like. Having a great time. When everything works and it's warm and you can finally get something done that you've been planning for a while it feels like playtime all righty folks that's it um i will see you again real soon down the farm later i'll stop this thing